Now the thing with this level hour is speed. Ew. Ow. You lot can wash me. Yeah, what? And I don't know where you all went. I'm like, oh, you all disappeared. No, oh, he's putting the front on. Oh dear. Then he comes back and he's turning you down for <laughs> Always worries me where he's going and what he's doing. Hey! <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, we got some tractor racing going on. That is a GT harvester on its side at the roundabout near us. That was a mess. Good Monday morning, Fernandez. How are we doing? I'm Daniel. Welcome to Fernand Farming Adventures. Oh, it's going to be fun today. Spent most of the weekend mooching around on the boat, mooching around on a lilo, getting covered in sun cream by Mrs. Farmer. Yeah, feeling fresh and uh, a little bit more brown, which is great. How was everybody else's weekend? Oh, it's been amazing. I have no complaints with this weekend whatsoever. Mrs. Farmer wasn't overly happy with me shaving my hair off. I finally found someone with their own hair and you shaved it off. <laughs> but I just got fed up on Thursday with uh, being so sweaty. I didn't know what to do with myself. So the hair came off. Right, this week's plan is Bailey's going to try and get the uh, Larrington trailer fixed. I'll explain to you what he's doing in a minute. He's found a few little bits and pieces that I wanted to get sorted for safety reasons. I still haven't figured out the reason why they weren't never using that trailer but one of the brakes, uh, rear brakes just keeps uh, snagging up and it's only when it goes over a bum that it lock unlocks itself and we've figured out what the problem with that is. There's a little roller in there that the brake shoes wind out in and out on and it had got a flat on it. So as it was adjusting out to slow you down it was locking out and it was only when it went over a bump like that it, it jiggled back so I've got my local uh, trailer parts supplier uh, M Yardy up in Lake and Eve uh, they're gonna get me some new bits and there was a spring that was stretched as well so I'm wondering if that wasn't why they used the trailer I don't know so yeah while, ba while I've got Bailey here for a week I might as well get Bailey to strip all the wheels all the hubs off it and then we've got a trailer with all new tires all the brakes have been uh, stripped down rebuilt refurbished and the trailer should last me another thousand years so spending a little bit of money on it it's not as cheap a trailer as i wanted it to be now but it's mega it really is a properly big trailer for me and i can get loads of muck in it so once we get uh, one of the pig units needs clearing out he's probably got 10 or 12 loads of muck for us to go and clear out uh, and then they're out of pigs so i've got that to do this week uh, lots of fixing, lots of greasing stuff up, lots of lubricating. Uh, Grumpy Grandad's now found an oil leak on the 6610 that he's doing. We also have this little 6200 has got a uh, track rod that's a bit wobbly. You can see how much the track rod's moving before the wheel moves. So I'm wiggling the steering wheel now and you can probably see it coming in and out. And I can see it coming in and out. So. In the name of safety, we're going to get that changed. In the name of it falling off, uh, we're going to get that changed. I mean, this little track doesn't hardly go anywhere. And it's not going to fall apart, not yet. Um, but it wants doing. So we've got that to fix. The, bay, uh, the Larrington trailer and then the 6610. But first, I'm going to go get some irrigators moved. So I went out there with the level harrow. Which actually, I might go out there with the level harrow now and just uh, crack on and, and get this done. I've only got a couple of ends that need uh, flattening off for the sprayer in the potatoes. Oh my god, it's like 9 o'clock in the morning already and it is so sweaty. I know this is probably Thursday when you're watching this, but how was everyone's weekend last weekend? Did you all have a good one? Were you at work? Were you moving irrigators? Were you painting the fence? Were you sitting by the paddling pool with the kids? Go and use it. Then you'll know where it's coming from. Get this wave. <laughs> but yeah we've just got I think I think what's leaking on that tractor that does oh all right well that's easy to change on that one no front PTO on that so dad said it needs a new fan belt on that as well so we'll get that done yeah there's lots of little oil cooler pipes and uh, diesel cooler pipes on that tractor and they just they just get perished half the time they go hard they get a little crack in them and then before you know it it's just dripping diesel out every now and again it looks like it's not oil coming out of there it's definitely diesel so where there's a diesel pipe going to a diesel cooler uh, that will be what the problem is 
I will go and do this. I went and borrowed and stole my cousin's uh, power harrow the other day and just freshened all my headlands up after Grumpy Grandad had been through with the ridger. So that's done. And now I've got a couple of weedings here that were so wet I couldn't get from the other day. But look at my potatoes. Oh yeah, when did we come out here? You probably watched this the other day. Uh, you're probably watching or gonna watch a uh, little crop walk we done the other day and the potatoes weren't anywhere near as bushy as this. Good bit of heat and a good bit of sun, uh, a good bit of rain on them with the irrigators and they have come real nice. Uh, I dug some up the other day, just a really like struggling plant if you like and uh, just to see what the condition was underneath and they all look lovely. They're all like little golf ball size in a minute and there's five or six of them on there, so maybe six or seven. But yeah, they're just ticking over nicely, but like an inch of rain would go lovely, but then if everybody else gets an inch of rain, I'm gonna go down this one. I think this one's been done, but I'm gonna have another go at it. Now the thing with this level harrow is speed. The faster you can go, the better it is. So yeah, this one hasn't been done. So we just run up and down here. See the state of it there. And it just helps to spuffle all the dirt out to the side where my sprayer runs. So I obviously run my sprayer at 2.4 meters, which is a lot wider than this tractor, which is only 1.83. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. So this tractor won't pull it much harder than this. The faster you can go, the quicker you can get the dirt to move out to the sides is what I'm doing. And obviously you just freshen up and keep the weeds down in the middle here where nothing's growing. So I did think about putting a cover crop in the middle here, but I haven't really got anything to haven't really got anything to uh, drill it with, so I didn't. There we go. Just a little bit of a little bit of love, it pushes all the dirt out to the outside there a little bit. Now I've got to just back up and uh, straighten all that out. Grumpy Grandin hates it when I leave uh, wheelings everywhere. I love this little tractor for irrigating and uh, for doing its job and stuff and ridging up and things. Alright, this one doesn't do any ridging up anymore, but the little McCormick perfect. I can nearly only leave like two metres at the outside. So I've got all my potatoes growing in the field. Right, I'll tell you. Put it down there, see how hard I can pull it. You normally get a bow wave of dirt following you along. Whee! Front suspension would have been great on this little tractor, but there you go. Ooh. Uh. That just helps to level it all out from a sprayer now. I think you lot did fall down. Oh well. As uh, I once said in a video not long ago, the faster you go, the quicker you lose your load. And that's like, well, it's a treat. The faster you can go, the quicker it pushes all that dirt out to the side there. And, and then I have a happy sprayer. And the jobs are getting on to the next job. See you in a minute. And a freedom going over at the minute. Obviously, there's a lot going on in the what are we going to sort? Let's just say Ukraine. There's a lot going on in Russia at the minute, and the uh, F-15s are fairly active. Right, six two hundred is now back, ready to go here again. Go and see what Bailey's up to. Fan of my eyes, who's who's. Uh, only going flat out or not on at all so Bailey's just checking the fuses and doing that also one of my screen wash uh, jets is not doing anything so you can have a look at that and uh, we'll show you what he's doing with the trailer so I'll go and chivvy him up and get him ready to be on camera I'll we'll show you what he's doing cheers guys so yeah we have a problem with the Kistik tent on there, it's leaking in that hydraulic, uh, well I think it's the aircon 
It's got to be the aircon. I don't. It looks like diesel oil falling about all over the place. Grumpy Granddad's in charge. I'll leave him to it. He knows what he's doing. Um, yeah, six six ten's leaking some oil out of it somewhere. So we got to figure that out. Bailey's doing a good job on the trailer. Uh, we've got the fan resistor motor, uh, fan motor resistor out of my Isuzu Rodeo. And then the other job I needed doing on this was the um, washer nozzle was blocked up. Bailey's taking that out for me. And whatever's in there, it won't come out. So I've just ordered some new ones. I'll change both of them while I'm at it. And then Bailey's finishing up tidying the brakes up on that. Ready to be on camera, Bailey? A little bit of hangover? Hmm. He says he's not hungover, but I reckon he is. Oh yeah, you're not allowed to drink, are you? You're not old enough. Howdy, folks. Right, we're pretty much ready to go back together. Uh, on this one, anyway. Ew. Uh, I just, uh, Bailey's cleaned them all down pretty good. Give them a little scrub over. I always like to run a little bit of sandpaper over them. Over the shoes. Just make sure they're all clean. That looks gross, so I'm going to wipe all that off. And then we'll put it back together. This one looks okay. It wasn't binding up or anything, so... Little rub down. Ew. Get all the dirt off it, so I don't have a wheel bearing issue. Ow. Ow. Keep hitting my head. Going to have to get a hard hat before much longer, so I'm not being totally stupid. That has been left on. Yeah, delightful. So that needs to go be charged up. Good afternoon, Fenlanders. How are we doing? Uh, <clears throat> come to a bit of a stop on the Larrington. Sorry, I've been doing 101 different jobs today and not really getting very far with any of it. Filled one irrigation pump up with diesel. Uh, Bailey's been doing the Larrington for me. He's just found a couple of bushes with no nipples in, so uh, I've ordered some more bushes. Simple little bushes, so get them changed. We're just waiting on parts, really, for that. And then um, tiny little things that are just Takes you an hour to get to them. Yeah, that's what we've been doing. And Grumpy Granddad's gone out to do a bit of mowing on the verges. And I am being a weirdo. <coughs> Martin Johnson all like this. Trying to push my muck up with a green pusher. Now, it's working, sort of, as long as you're not too greedy. And you need a bucket down here to then heat this stuff up the top there to push it up. Over there, you can probably see what I've been doing. I managed to make a big hole in the middle there. So if you can then get the bucket and, and scoop it up, it really doesn't like it tries to ride up all the time which is what they're designed to do i suppose but i can't really i don't want to break my brain pusher so i'm just uh down here having a go really just trying it out a little taster session shall we say just to see if it will uh keep heaping it up even higher the higher you can heap it the better it is and the reason for that is you don't lose as much moisture out of it it all stays in one big hot heap i just thought i'd come and have a go with it and see how it got on. Grumpy Granddad's probably thinking, what a massive <laughs> But it, it is working. I've got about another 10 or 15 loads of muck to come in here before harvest. Good Tuesday morning, Fenlanders. How are we doing? i got a question to ask you. What does everyone think of these uh, new Defenders? Cheerful Charlie's just turned up. I uh, really, really like this one. I think it suits it well. That is a work truck with Vmega. I really like them. What's your opinion on them? Are they grown on you? I don't like the 110s or the 130s, but I do like them. Just like that, with steel wheels on it. No frills, automatic, air con, that'd do me. Why are they so much money? That is putting me off a little bit, but not that I've got the funds to go and buy one, but cheerful Charlie's here, so I'm gonna talk to him. Cheers, guys. Sound of freedom going over. We think the transmission aircon rad has got a like slight hole in it, but the amount it's leaking and the amount it's going to cost to fix both outweigh each other. So, Grumpy Granddad, in all your wisdom, you're not going to bother fixing the leak, are you? <laughs> just clean it every now and then. At it's least it won't go rusty. It's not leaking very oh, much. It's just a slight, a slight weep, isn't it? Slight weep. What have we been doing today? Irrigating. Now I've got to get the telehander ready to go cart some muck. I've got the windows cleaned on the 190, so they're clean. I've got the JCB because we had an oil leak on that. So Grummy Granddad's going to put the 6610 back together. Um, I like his style. 
you know, it ain't leaking very much. If it gets worse, obviously we'll fix it, but it's just covering the front of the tractor in a, in a little seep of oil, which is transmission oil, so back end oil, whichever you want to call it. Yeah, this, this old girl, I know it's going to go do muck, but all these pipes all wrinkled themselves up inside there and uh, the cab is all covered in oil and it's all covered in muck as well. So I am going to go give this a wash look at the state of that and then i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a little bit of love i'm gonna put some grease in it i tried to put the grease nipple in the hole there and it keeps firing that out so has anybody else had a problem with grease nipple popping out of there you put another one in and it fires it out it just it pressurizes i know i know they were spreading a bit when i put grease in there so i wonder if we've got an issue uh in there which i need to sort out and just take the pin out clean it out or something and um just check it over um, 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 um. yeah woohoo yay and then when bailey comes back and bailey's got the larrington back together i was going to use that for cutting muck um but i don't think i'm going to have the bits in time yeah the, the aerial's gone on this uh i don't know where the aerial is but it's not there anymore so I can get very good signal when I'm out and about, so I'll get Bailey to put a new aerial on there. That can be his other little job. Just um, Bailey having Bailey here, he's pretty good at fixing stuff, so um, tarting things up for me. Uh, where I'm busy running around chasing after irrigators, fixing problems and stuff, and Bailey can just do all the little problems that I don't need to do to keep going, if that makes sense. If I concentrate on all the big problems, all the big issues and things that I have, uh, that keeps the farm going and Bailey can uh, Bailey can start doing all the little jobs that just uh, keep everything neat and tidy and uh, up to scratch you know if you start forgetting about little problems on everything they all start then becoming bigger problems and before you know it all your kit is a load of crap so you lot can wash me uh, what watch me wash this loader down I know how much you like that. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, guys, nice t-shirts, aren't they? Um, I've had a bit of uh, writer's block at the minute. Tuber's block, should we call it. Um, I seem to get that every now and again. I just don't know what to film for you guys next. Uh, but you know what would really inspire me to get uh, motivated again? Pushing us towards 3,000 subscribers. We are flying along, you know, and then it took a bit of a dip, and I don't know where you all went, and now it's come back up again. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm doing some really cool stuff for you lot, and uh, you all disappeared. So, um, yeah, if you haven't already, get subscribing. That would really help push our channel forward. And if you haven't already, John and got yourself a really cool T-shirt, a uh, polo shirt, a hoodie, a hat. You know, we've got all the stuff to help support the little farm. Awesome. Let's get this washed down. Oh, yeah, and i got mugged and someone stole my hair. What are you going to do? Uh, poor old Mrs. Farmer actually started crying. <laughs> I shaved my hair off. But I had a skinhead in lockdown, so I don't know if you lot have seen me with a skinhead before, but I need to tan my head because it's a bit pink, a bit white. There we go then. How much muck and poop have I got on my face? Get this paint greased up, clean the windows, and jobs are good in. I hope. Then we can get the muck fork on and grease that up. Yeah, well, I might actually get that on now. Makes sense to put it on now, boy. Now, see what Grumpy Granddad's doing. He's just gone off with a mower somewhere, so no doubt. Oh, he's putting the front mower on. Oh dear. Grumpy Granddad does have a tendency to use the mowers as a rotavator. Feel good fun. So he comes back, hey, burn your belt down. Ah, uh, hello. <coughs> Better? Better, Rara? Right, I've got it. I've got it. Let me grab them. Oh, there it is. Woo! -hoo! Yeah, Grumpy Grenno's going off with his two mowers now. Two mowers on one tractor. Multitasking, Grumpy Grandad. Always worries me where he's going and what he's doing. Some bright idea that he wants to go and mow every piece of blade of grass in the whole farm. But we'll see, we'll see. We'll let him go off and do what he's got to do. And... All right, I'm gonna get this thing greased up. You lot don't need to see all that. Then I'll come back to you when I have uh, finished, shall we say. Cheers, guys. Now I've half cleaned my windows on my JCB. 
That's ready to rip it later. Take to the pig unit. Cleaned up, ready to get covered in shit, boy. And I've also cleaned the windows on the 190 so I can actually see where I'm going now. I know you lot were moaning at me sometimes when, when the windows look real dusty, but they're really not. I can't see where I'm going. Oh yeah, beast mode activated. Let's go and fill this up with fuel. Get it filled up with dinosaur bones. And off we go. We're gonna go and do one load of muck from one pig unit. The other pig unit, I've got to take my loader and my trailer. Hey, hours on this 6190 is 6190. Well, 192.2. I done a few hours in it the other day. Oh, it's lovely to have a nice clean-ish window. Not 100% clean, but they're better than they were. <laughs> this is the trouble, all my tractors have to sit outside most of the time. They get dusty without even doing anything. There we go, Bert. All filled up with dinosaur bones, and off to do our first load of muck. Oh yeah. At least I haven't got to fill this up with government juice as well. That is one bonus, I suppose. I did try and get somebody to come and uh, remove all the EGR crap and uh, exhaust gas with circulation and uh, all the bloody uh, regen stuff and delete that off this, but to no avail. So if anyone's got on really well with a company, let me know. Get rid of that. It. Yeah, I don't want all the black smoke coming out of the exhaust. I just don't want them doing a regen and stuff. They just drink fuel when they do a regen. Watch the gauge going down. Be far more efficient. I'm sure they'll be far more efficient without all that stuff on them. But that's my opinion. You're entitled to your own. Well, let's go and get some pig poop. With my nice clean windows. No, I don't know where Grumpy Grandad's gone. He's um, disappeared with his mother, so I don't know where he's at. He's gone somewhere. And oh no. Cousin's out there ridging his spuds up. So I, I, I think this is cooler weather, but I mean it's windy out, so that's going to dry out all the irrigation that we put on the fields, which is annoying. It's a bit cooler, so everyone can get their water on in better conditions. It's not evaporating. I mean, it's still saying it's 20 degrees out here. If the wind would just settle down a little bit, that would be good. Hey, oh, I don't know what we got to do to get the councils to come and fill some holes in around here. Back to the irrigating, it, it, it's soaking in nicely now, and I, I'm pulling where I would normally move up one. Or, or skip a skipper and irrigation weaning, following in with another irrigator in that spare gap. They're getting a serious amount of amount of water. Ugh, big tractor. I don't know who that is. I did see a 6250 come through here the other day with a ribbon on the front of it, a pink ribbon on the front. So somebody's obviously looked after their wife, daughter, girlfriend, whatever, and bought them a 6250R. Oh, I wish I had a girlfriend that bought me a 6250R or a 6R250. Either or, I'm not fast. Because this farmer needs to have a game. <laughs> ah, no traffic in Megany. Yeah, just how we like it. Run a little old lady over on the pavement. Yeah, points mean prizes. So we're going to get this done. I have got an irrigator to go and move uh, from another field. And I've got that to fix as well. The chains all come loose to go around the barrel. So we'll go and me and Grumpy Granddad will both go with a tractor and truck and see if we can fix that. Oh, excuse me. Ah, uh, lorry. Oh dear, these roads are getting terrible. Yeah, people's spuds and feet and stuff is all looking rosy now, isn't it? Is everybody's crops looking all good? Um, I'd like my sugar beet to be a bit further forward than they are, but they're, they're okay. I wish I hadn't a hoed them now. I had Michael come in and hoe them the other day, and I wish I'd just sprayed them. I think I wish I'd just sprayed them. But oh well, it is what it is. Oh, railway line. Yeah, potatoes, I've got a few places where they could be a bit bushier, a bit taller, a bit bushier, a bit further along, but weirdly, my first first lot planted are not as far forward as the second lot planted but they were smaller seeds so I started off on small seed to get closer to home if that makes sense closer to the trailer and uh, didn't have to keep going and filling up and then used the middle of the field to plant all my big seed out yeah went back on the small seed when I was a bit closer to the house you know so got all the big seed planted and then back on the small stuff and then the first lot planted are nowhere near as big and bushy Hey, I don't know who that was. Hong Kong. I'm going to switch you lot off because uh, my lovely people at the pig unit. Hello, how are you? How are you getting on? Lovely people at the pig unit don't want to be on camera. I will see you lot in a little while. Ugh. There we go. Look at that lovely, glorious, big pile of <laughs> I uh, was thinking about putting a um, shed up for me to have a couple of thousand pigs at my own farm, you know. 
And then I haven't got a cart of straw here. I haven't got a cart of muck back. I would still keep these two pig units, but I also bulk myself up, you know? So uh, just a little weird thought of the day. Is it worth me doing? Is it worth me spending 400 grand on uh, a pig unit and getting it all set up and everything? Having a specially made storage pit? Hey, is it worth me? Is it worth the hassle? You know, Mrs. Farmer, I could get Mrs. Farmer in there. She can tend to the pigs every day, although not entirely sure she'd want to get rid of them at the end because she would have a favorite from every bat. So yeah, I, I don't know whether it's worth me bringing up BQP to pig people or, or not really. I mean. Everyone seems to be adding a little living out of the pigs, so I'm not really doing it to earn a living out of the pigs, I'm doing it to get all the muck from my, um, turn my straw into, into muck really, that's the only thing I was thinking, but then you need specific shed to do it, muck storage beside it, straw storage beside that, then you need a telehandler to go with it, or a little vitamin type thing to go with that, you know, all money by the time you finish you would be 350 400 grand into a 2000 pig unit shed and then you got to put up with the woo, stinky i don't know whether it would be worth it or not really i've just um and oh, oh yeah look at these spuds out here look these are made a neighbor of mine a friend of mine on some sandy land they are growing well really really are growing well uh, the field's been turfed for the last 17,000 years. My taters are not that far forward. That is for sure. Good job I clean my windows, won't it? That. Dusty. Right, off to the other pig unit now to get a load. So no point going too hard because one of my granddad's following me with the JTB. Once we get back again, uh, I think we're going to go off and try and fix the uh, irrigator and move that a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. People are hell bent on sitting behind me all day as well. I just had a car follow me all the way from Hotwold all the way home back to Lagany where I turn off. If you're behind a tractor guys, get a wriggle on and get past him if you can because if once you sit there then the next car can't get past you and me at the same time so if you see a gap, go for it. Pow! Yeah, there we go, folks. That is the sec uh, second load of mug, but the first one from a different piggery. I got stuck behind a bloody traffic, but... Grummy Grandad! Come on, Grummy Grandad, get out of the way. If there's nothing coming around the next corner, I'll overtake him. Got some tractor racing going on. Ding 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 ding. And he gave me the flashy flashy. I bet uh, they've got a car trying to overtake me now. We made it. Just about. He's only got a little 40k tractor. I wish we'd have bought a 6, 9, 10 and a 50k tractor when we. Oh, well, uh, it was pointless me overtaking Grumpy Granite because the train lines are down. Oh, man! So that was a waste of my. Uh, energy i could have sat behind him i'd only gained like a half a minute this is my second load now at this piggery let's do this one and see if i got time to do another one and then i'll go and push all the muck up then i feel like a nap I'm not gonna lie I feel like a little siesta with my feet up busy day tomorrow but what are we doing keep watching find out what we're up to there you go folks that is uh some doing that is a GT harvester on its side at the roundabout near us. How the frick how on earth did they get that rolled over? I know they are a bit top heavy, but uh, somebody's having a bad day then, aren't they? Hello, Fenlanders. Back out after dinner now. We are going to go move to where again. Take this little uh, gem of a 6200. I don't know whether to carry on irrigating now it's nice and damp. I mean, we haven't had any rain, but I mean, the field's nice and damp now. Sometimes you can do more damage than good when you're like paddling around where stuff's just been irrigated. Bloody irrigators, they're a pain in your heart, aren't they? Now, where I put my bloody wheels on my gun carriage, they're, uh, they're still jumping over potatoes, which is doing my head in. Really, really irritating me. Right. 
Are you not okay? Sorry about that. Right, first things first, put the pin in. Next job, pipe it up. I think I'm going to try and drop this one off out of the way and then spin the other one round. Yeah, it's really perfect tractor for irrigating this is. Obviously if you had a 600 or a 650 or 700 irrigator, you'd probably want a bigger tractor to be able to pull it all the way out. But for us, it works a treat. Have a puck a little tractor. Same again, isn't it? Your dad's had the bloody gun pointing right back. Soaked all the headland. Last thing I want to do is keep saturating the headland. Huh? Well, f*** you mess, sake. Same again then. There we go. I would chuck you on there so you can go for a little Ferris wheel ride, but I don't know whether I'd get my GoPro back. <laughs> Swing! All happy, coiled up nicely. In the right place. How are you getting on? So that was a waste of freaking time, wasn't it? So he was in the right place, then he moved over, and now he's moved over some more. Well done, pups. Back in the gear. There we go, ratchet back on. Oh, that's hot. And then start reset. We are 230 meters through there, so eight hour, nearly nine hour run, look. Start reset. Oh, wait, here we go. Go and start the pump up. Don't know why I left my little tractor running. Rather buy a starter motor than I would buy more fuel. Shut that up. Switch that on. Open that door. Yeah. Oh, that's better. Yeah, we got a little climbing pump there. That just primes up the water. I'll do it by hand in a second. I'm just going to check and make sure that oil is okay. Grumpy going to change the oil. I should have some new filters coming for this tomorrow. Oh, sweet. Should be okay for diesel. I would check the water, but it's only just finished running, so I'm not. You always want to break them down as well. Sometimes they get pulled right out. They nearly break off the end with the pressure. Didn't have enough reps on. Try that again. I'll show you that again in a second, guys. Look how straight it is. There we go, we have lift off. Once the air builds up, uh, air pre uh, the water pressure builds up in the line. See it's starting to come up. Coming up all by itself. Or not. I've got a leak over here. What happened there then? Ah. Lovely. All right, third time lucky. Shining off my head. Go and get the grain pusher and the bucket. 
see if we can get the grain pusher and the bucket and the forks all down the field at the same time. Multitasking. Come on then, folks. I got the bucket, the grain pusher, and the forks ready for a little roundup. I've only got three loads over there, so it might work with the um, just the grain pusher, but I don't want to break the grain pusher. That would be stupid. I'm now going to go and have a go at heaping it up with the bucket, heaping it up with the bucket. <laughs> I cleaned the windows on the JCB and the 6190 today and I ran out of steam when doing this little John Deere loader. I should have done this one as well, really. Poor little loader, you can hardly see out the window. Sorry about the dirty window and it is really dirty. I will clean it next time I come back down here to push the muck up. I promise that dropped off. Rode nicely. Obviously this little old John Deere only does about 15, 18 miles an hour anyway. It wasn't a rough ride, I can tell you. Yeah, what are we at, about eight o'clock in the evening now? And the good thing is my muck is all dried out quite nicely. I mean, it's got to sit here until maybe 10 months time, so. Real strawy. Well, that, that window's getting on my tits, anyone else? <laughs> when you're in it all the time, you don't know it's all the rattles and stuff, but I bet you lot do. Oh, that proper stinks. Very good stuff. Burning my eyeballs out. Especially Mark up is not the easiest job in the world. She's handling it, no worries. You know, you know. Although I have got a load of muck on the end of my food now. <laughs>